Well, welcome to the book of Habakkuk. Habakkuk uh, mentions no king in this book. So the timeline is sort of um, has to be guessed by certain clues that were given. It does mention the Chaldeans and many Bible scholars and uh, people think that Habakkuk was probably written before the attack of Nebuchadnezzar when Judah was taken away. And uh, there are only uh, four countries mentioned, and uh, three of them are just a glance. Arabia talks about the wolves of Arabia, and Ethiopia, and Midian, uh, but nothing uh, like we've had in other books where there's curses and woes to these peoples. And the Chaldeans is mentioned here in verse 6. So uh, we will now start this seminar. And again, the yellow numbers are the English derivative from the Greek New Testament found on our website, the book. And the purple numbers highlighted are the definite articles. And they, uh, on the case of this ch book and chapter, the nominative singular uh, definite articles, the. So the first one is the concern, the lima, to lima o eden avakuk. And other manuscripts have avakum. So there's different spellings for that. And I have to also mention that there are many variants in this book from the Complutensian, the Aldine, and the footnotes have a lot of these variants, and you can, if you're really interested, uh, buy our <laughs> CD-ROM with the 1709 Bose Bible in it that has all these variants, a plethora of variants, and it's on our CD-ROM. Uh, so we'll continue here. Tolima o Ethan Avakuk o Prophetes, the concern which uh, Abakuk, Habakkuk, the Prophetes, here we have a prophet as a derivative, saw. And then he comes out with a statement. Eos pote kyrie kekraxome ke umi isakusis voisome prose adikumenos ke u sosis. For how long, kyrie, shall I cry out? And in no way should you listen or hearken. Isaku, we have the acoustics, and with the is and making it more internal, like listening instead of just hearing in the ears. For how long shall I yell to you being wronged, and you should not deliver? Maybe at this time the, uh, the Jews in Judea were suffering, being wronged by the Chaldeans, and he's crying out, for how long will you, you know, is this going to go on? You're not going to deliver us. Sosis, the, the word in the New Testament for save, and as I mentioned in other places, I think deliver is a better word because it's used for uh, non-eternal uh, uh, state, and just uh, delivering. And verse 1-3 continues, Inati edixas me ponus ke copus epivlepin taliporian ke asevian exenantias mu gegone asevian exenantias mu gegone crisis ke o critis lamvani. Why did you show to me toils and troubles to look upon misery and impiety? Well, he's still com making this complaint uh, of uh, why this is happening, why he had to see this. Right opposite me takes place a crisis, judgment. We have a crisis as the derivative point of time of uh, making a decision. And the judge takes away critis. We have a critic is the English derivative. Uh, right opposite me takes place, and the judge takes away, maybe talking about unrighteous uh, judgment here. 1-4 continues. The atuto, the askedaste, nomos, ke 
u viaxa skite is telos crema oti asa vis katadina stevi ton dikeon enikentuto exolevsite to crema viastra menon and one, on account of this the law is effaced, the nomos, we have uh, astronomy, a study of the stars, the laws of the stars. On account of this, the law is effaced, these, uh, this judgment, maybe bad judges. And judgment is not administered until the end, the telos, and uh, the cream of the crime. Telos has to do with uh, the end. For the impious tyrannize over the righteous. Because of this, crema, crime, is the derivative, the judgment shall go forth being perverted. I'm not sure if I read that in the Greek, if I, I'll read it again. If I didn't, via tuto, via skedas te nomos, ke u via xagete is telos crema, oti asa vis katadina stevi ton dikeon, and a cantuto exolevsete to crema via stramenon. Just in case I didn't. And verse 5, he continues, either te e katafronite, ke epivlepsete, ke thavmasete, thavmasia, ke afanistite, the oti ergon. Ego ergazome in te simerisimon, o umi pistevsite, eantis ek vigite. Behold, uh, and then here is a, a reply now of the, of the Lord. It says, Behold, uh, the nominative subject, o despisers, and look and wonder. Thavma sate, wonder wonders, Thavmasia, the, th the thaumaturgist is a magician, uh, something in these wonders, and vanish, afanistite, the afan, the fan, that has to do with a phantom, it is something that's not vanishing or not seen. For ego, I, we have the ego, the pro personal pronoun, ergazome, ergonomics, work, uh, a work, ergon. And te simere simon, ephemeral is the derivative of the days, which in no way shall you believe, if anyone shall, should tell of it in detail. Uh, to believe uh, or to trust. Uh, this word pistevo is a verb. Uh, it's the verb for uh, faith, which I didn't use. I think I use either belief or trust, because uh, faith doesn't really have a verb. Uh, and uh, you have to add extra words to it. And, but believe is a verb, and it's also belief is the uh, noun. And so, uh, pistevo, if you should believe. Sometimes the meaning is more on uh, towards uh, uh, the believing is, uh, you can believe a lot of things, but trusting in it uh, is a different thing than just believing something. A person can uh, believe that a certain horse is going to win the fifth race two men, and the one man could uh, put up two dollars to win on uh, Black Beauty in the fifth race, let's say, and the other person could put up, go out and sell everything he has, put up uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars on Black Beauty to win. So you'd say, well, which one really believes? Well, they both believed, but there's a difference in the, um, the amount or the depth of the of this belief and it when it goes into the uh, second man it's more of a trust uh, that you uh, that you put everything up that you have uh, for this uh, belief so uh, it's an interesting word a deep word and we'll go through this a lot more in the New Testament when we get there so uh, which you, uh, so he's gonna God's gonna work this work in no way if you would believe if uh, if he told it to him in detail the OT Idu ego exagiro tus calveus to ethnos to picron ke to tachinon to porevomenon epi ta platitis gis to catacleronomise skinomata uk aptu. For behold, I ego the ego 
personal pronoun, awakened the Chaldeans. This was the people that lived uh, down s in the southern part of the Tigris-Euphrates Valley. Nineveh was way up north. We just had uh, the last chapter, uh, the last book, Zephaniah, and then Nahum and Jonah were all about this, uh, the Ninevites, but this is the Chaldeans. This is a later period now when uh, Nebuchadnezzar will come and destroy uh, Israel and Jerusalem. And so he got us uh, telling them about this and telling uh, Habakkuk, and Habakkuk is relating it. I awaken the Chaldeans, the quick one, oops, the bitter, Picron, uh, we have the English derivative, Pequant, piercing, stinging, possibly even pick, Picron, a bitter and quick uh, ethnos, nation, and ethnos is uh, ethnic as a derivative. So these Chaldeans are quick and they're harsh. The one going upon the plati, uh, the width, we have a platypus, a large foot, uh, wide foot, and the widths of the geese, the earth, geology, to inherit tents not of his, places not of his, armies not of his, and this is going to be happening. And one seven, it continues. Foveros ke epiphanis estin ex af tu, to krima af tu, este, ke to lima af tu, ex af tu, ex One, he is too fearful, foveros, we have the fovos, phobia, fear, uh, fearful and uh, fan, epiphanies, epiphany, something that's apparent. And uh, he's going to be uh, very apparent to the uh, people of Jerusalem. He's going to destroy their city. And he is fearful. The Chaldeans from Iraq today, if it's still Iraq when you hear this, 2008. And his judgment, the crema, a crime, it has to do with judicial decisions. His crime will be of himself. His, I mean, his judgment will be of himself. He's uh, uh, the hegemon, the dictator. And his concern of himself shall come forth. He's going to do his will. 1 8, it continues. K exalunte e per parthalis e epi of two. K oxiteri. E per tus licus tis aravias, ke exipasonte e epis of tu, ke ormisu si macrothen, ke petastisonte os eatos prothimos isto fagin. And his horses, the epi, and we have a hippopotamus, a river horse, the epi, the his horses, too, uh, shall leap more than leopards. Uh, eper, hyper, over more than, was English derivative, uh, uh, parthalis. We can see the parthalis and the leopard, the pard. Now, now, is it talking about horses here, or is it going into a future time where there's mechanical uh, devices that uh, leap more than horses? Uh, it's interesting if it's talking about the Nebuchadnezzar that comes against the... Uh, uh, Israel, or if it's a future time that this uh, person or this uh, the Chaldean is going to come, and uh, or sharper oxytiri, uh, we have the oxy is a uh, prefix for something that's sharp. Uh, Eper again, hyper more than the wolves of Arab Arabia, Arabia, and his epis shall ride forth and shall advance far off. Makrothen, we have um, makro is something that's uh, wide. And um, in this case, uh, the makrothen, it's uh, something that's more or less far off. And they shall spread out as eatos, as an eagle, eager for something to eat. So these uh, this army of the Chaldeans are ready for war. They want to do some destruction. And they use using the word to eat here. Sintelia is asavis ixi, anthesticotas 
prosopi, soft tone, exonantias. K sinoxi, os amon, eikmalosian. Consumption shall come unto the impious, opposing their fronts right opposite. So uh, the impious is talking about here the uh, people in Judah that are impious towards God and this army is coming in, in front of them and opposing their fronts right opposite them. And he shall gather Sinoxi. Synagogue is a derivative. I could have highlighted that one. Uh, he shall gather the Eichmalosian, uh, the captivity, as sand. They will be a captivity once he's captured them. And he shall gather this uh, captivity of uh, prisoners. Ke aftos in vasilevsin en trifisi ke tyranni pygnia aftu ke aftos is pan ohiroma empexate ke vali homa ke kratisi aftu and he shall revel one among or in among kings vasilevsin the basilica and uh, sovereigns are his playthings, tyrants, tyranni, are his playthings. So he's you know, the world conqueror over all these nations and sovereigns. And he shall mock at every fortress. He's going to uh, mock these people because he is the uh, ruler and has all the the power and he uh, despises and looks at these people as nothing in front of his strength. And sh he shall throw up an embankment, volley, we have ballistic, uh, something throwing up an embankment. That's those uh, siege mounds that are around the cities when these uh, ancient armies came against this walled cities. They built up these uh, large embankments to cast these uh, weapons uh, cast these stones against the wall to break them down and the ladders and so forth and uh, kratisi shall prevail over it the kratisi we have the uh, uh, democrat the power of the people the krat here is a prevail 111 tote metavali to pnevma ke the elevsite ke ex elasite Afti i iskis to theomu. Then he shall turn the spirit. Uh, it could have been wind uh, and uh, or breath, but he shall turn the spirit. Whatever this, uh, the spirit isn't always the Holy Spirit in the Bible. It's uh, many times it has to do with uh, uh, the spirit of man. In some places, it's an evil spirit. Sometimes it's not a uh, spirit, but it's a condition like a wind. Uh, and so tend to, this word is uh, broadly used, and it has to really be seen in its context of uh, the word. And he shall turn the spirit. Now, in the New Testament, the spirit is the Holy Spirit, but uh, I don't see that being the case here. And he shall go through and shall make atonement, uh, saying this uh, 111 has a uh, has a footnote and there's a variance and you have to look in the bows to see what they are and I don't have them in front of me but anyway he's going to make this atonement and then he's going to say uh, this is uh, this strength is to my God so it's not uh, the God of Israel the Lord but it's to his God well later we hear about Nebuchadnezzar and if that's who he's talking about here it might be in one of the other Chaldean uh, kings and, but Nebuchadnezzar did come to the knowledge of the Lord in the book of uh, Daniel. So he's uh, going to give credit to his God, here it says. In verse 12, it continues, Ukisi ap arkis kyrie o theos mu, o agios mu, umi apothanomen kyrie iskrima, Tetaxas of tone. K a place me to elenkin pythian of two. Now we're switching over and going back to Habakkuk's reply to this condition of the uh, Chaldeans coming against 
the people of Israel and uh, Judah and Jerusalem. And he's uh, and Habakkuk says, "Are you not from the beginning, the uh, archies? We have archaeology, study of uh, the ancient things. Uh, are you not from the beginning, O Lord Kyrie, O Theos Mu, O Agios Mu, my holy one?" In no way should we die, O Lord. Uh, he's pleading that this won't happen, that they won't die. Uh, for judgment, you have ordered it, but he's ordered it. It's happening. And he shaped me to reprove for his discipline. And he's, uh, Habakkuk is saying that he has been shaped to go out and to tell the people of this uh, prophecy of this uh, imminent destruction of the, by the Chaldeans. Many times God uh, has ordered us, shaped us, to reprove uh, for his discipline, uh, to go out and to stand up against the evils and to tell the world or our family or friends of the things of that God wants. And that's is a, maybe the purpose that we are put on this uh, earth for. I don't think it's for walking dogs and uh, just uh, spending our time uh, spinning wheels, but it's for a purpose. And Habakkuk was, uh, as a prophet, somebody that would go out and speak to these people. The prophet is the high, one of the higher callings in the Bible to uh, tell God's word to people. He's not a preacher. Um, a preacher was uh, somebody that more or less would be talking to the uh, believers, but going out and telling others that don't hear. And it continues in verse 13. Katharos o ophthalmos to me oran ponira ke epi vlepin epi ponerus u dinisi. Pure is the eye, the ophthalmos, the ophthalmologist, to not see evil, uh, evil things. And uh, you are not able to look upon uh, pony roots, evils, and God, is, of course, I mean, he sees everything, but he is pure, and he doesn't, uh, he can't look on these things, God doesn't, he, he, he does something about them, either at the time or eventually in uh, judgment, uh, they will, uh, these evils are going to be taken care of. Why should you not look upon one's disdaining? Shall you remain silent in uh, the impious swallowing down the just, and so, uh, so he's bringing up this thing. You know, God, uh, in his righteous way, is not, you know, does not like evil. And then he he's complaining that uh, why should uh, you look upon one's disdaining? So why why basically why shouldn't why are you overlooking it really? Uh, shall you remain silent in the impious swallowing? down the just, uh, these Chaldeans that were coming were con weren't believers in uh, Jehovah or Yahweh at all. And uh, God is using the enemy and the unbelievers to have other gods to uh, punish his chosen people in their impiousness. And uh, so Habakkuk is bringing up this condition and uh, it uh, was, a, was a bad condition because uh, he can see this uh, he sees this foretelling of what's going to happen. It must be very, very difficult to really know. God shows you what's going to happen. Um, and, uh, you know, it's like, God, can you do anything, uh, you know, can you change and not do this? And that must be what, but then you see the evil and you know God needs to do it and he's going to do it. So there must be a, a ho horrible uh, thing to see these things. Like John saw all these things in the book of uh, Revelation these horrible things that were going on uh, in onto the world, just devastation. So uh, this is what Habakkuk is seeing here, this Chaldean army, these uh, Babylonians coming. And then in verse 14, it continues, K.P. sees tus anthropus os tus Ekthias tis thalasis ke os ta erpita uk ekonta igumenon. Will you make, uh, the 
P cease in the future tense uh, 4160 with the P at the poet in the English derivative uh, the doer we had this uh, some of these words I'm going to quit uh, expounding on uh, as we go through here because I've pretty well mentioned them but this is one word that's used over and over again almost every chapter of the Bible from 4160 so whenever you see it it has something to do with uh, making or doing uh, will you make the anthropus, anthropology, as men, as the ichthyos? We have the uh, ichthys, of, uh, ichthyology and uh, study of fish. And in the nominative, uh, it's uh, ichthys is uh, isu Christos uh, theos, God, uh, Son, Savior, uh, eos, uh, sotir, the alpha is missing. Uh, and people have that on their... Uh, back of their cars, you see these little fish with ichthys in there. That's what it means. Uh, and somebody came up with that. Isu uh, Christo Theos Eos Sotir, Jesus Christ, God's Son, Savior. And uh, when will you make the men as the fishes of the sea, the thalassies, the thalactic, as to do with the uh, sea, and as the herpeta, the uh, herpetology study of uh, reptiles? Herpes, a uh, skin condition, it's like uh, uh, the reptiles have that those flakes on there, the, uh, the uh, not flakes, the uh, scales. Uh, not having one taking the lead. Uh, so are you going to make, uh, just scatter men all over the place, uh, these people of Israel? The egumenon, you know, we have a hegemony. Uh, Hegemony, uh, one taking the lead. 115, it continues. Sintelian in Ankistro, Anes Basse, K. Il Kisan Afton in Amphivlistro Aftu, K. Siniga Gen Afton in Tes Sagines Aftu, Enikin Tuto Efron Thesite. K. Harisate, uh, 115. He pulled up, this probably Nebuchadnezzar, the elite ruler of uh, the Chaldeans, uh, consumption with a hook, a fishing hook is. And he drew it with his casting nets, net. The amphivlistro is a ca round cast, uh, these, not a round, it's the nets that they threw out with their hands and then they sunk and then they pulled them in. Uh, it's used in the New Testament in uh, one of the parables where it talks about casting the net and then pulling in and separating the things that were found in the net. The amphivlistro. Uh, there's different types of nets that they use and a hook. And gather, he gathered it, uh, gathered it in his drag nets. Because of this, he shall be glad and rejoice. I could possibly be talking about God here, but I don't think so. I think it's talking about uh, uh, the Chaldean emperor rather than God, because uh, we'll get a little bit here further, and it will keeps talking. It doesn't change the the subject. Doesn't change, and it uh, gets us more information about this uh, who uh, he is. Uh, he shall be glad. Ephron Thesite. Ephrasi is the English derivative. And he will rejoice. Hari sete. We have a hari, a cheer, as an English derivative. Verse 16. And a cantuto thesi ti sagini of tu, ke themiasi to amphivlistro of tu, oti in of tis elipane, merida of tu, ke tav romata of tu, eclecta. Okay, because of this, he will sacrifice to his dragnet and burn incense to his casting net. He's going to uh, sacrifice and worship his uh, military might. That's why I see it. For by them he fattened his, uh, his portion. Lipo uh, has to do with fattening. His portion. Uh, even the, you can add that if you'd like into the English derivative book, because it's not in there lipo and fattening, uh, even uh, his choice, eclecta, elect, somebody that has been elected, or choice, chosen, his choice 
uh, foods, vromata. We have vromas, an English derivative uh, for food, and we have bromo seltzer. It's kind of a uh, strange derivative, but uh, I just throw that out for the people that know what bromo seltzer is. It has to do with uh, upset stomach and foods and uh, taking this uh, seltzer water. On account of this, the atuto amphivali amphivlistron aftu ke the apantos apocatinin ethni u fisite. So uh, this uh, ruler of Chaldean, Chaldean is fattening his uh, take of the nations and gathering these large, powerful nations uh, into going into Egypt and other places and, uh, and conquering. And it says, on account of this, he will cast his casting net. Uh, the emperor and all, always, the apontos, um, the us through, and pontos all, through all, or always, uh, to kill nations, ethni, ethnic, not sparing. So this, uh, the Chaldean and the Chaldean king are going to be coming and doing all these terrible things. And Habakkuk is showing this to the people of Israel that uh, bad things are coming upon them. And uh, the next chapter will uh, go further into this uh, episode that's going on. So until then, uh, God bless.